Amen. Amen. There's so many songs that I believe the Lord ordained for people to write, Brother Kim. Amen. To move us, Brother Mark. Yes. Just Lisa, sometimes we we just, uh, I went through life knowing this and learning this, Brother Riley, that uh, there are songs that helps us to go another mile, to go another day, to pick ourselves up and get us going, to get us motivated, to keep us pressing and making it, you know. And some songs, I mean, uh, there's a, now, and I'm telling you this much right now, I have learned in this walk of life with Christ is that there has to be an atmosphere. Amen. I mean, the Lord just doesn't just come out of the blue and just say, okay, you know, if you want this, then, you know, here, you know. <clears throat> there has to be an atmosphere of his spirit. Hello? Yeah. Amen. Every one of those men in the Bible that received the gift of the Holy Ghost, Brother Riley, there was an atmosphere there. Them that wanted healing, there was an atmosphere there. When those guys broke up the ceiling and lowered that one man down, there was already an atmosphere there. All right? And we we can we tend to think, and I'm telling you, I mean, I ain't, I ain't, ain't seen it yet, but I could be wrong. The Lord does anything he wants. I could be wrong. But the point of it is, amen, he is near me when I'm broken. I mean, he is nigh to me, Brother Riley, when I'm nigh to him. I mean, when we are that, when I'm trying to get closer to him, he's moving closer. When I'm moving more closer, he's getting closer. And the moment that we finally reach the throne, Brother Kim, amen, it's when I believe that's when the atmosphere is so great. Amen. If you think about it, when John was on the island of Patmos, amen, he was in the spirit when the Lord lifted him up. So there was an atmosphere. Come on. Amen. I can preach on that all day long, but think of it is. It's up to you to get in there, Mama. They push that atmosphere onto us. And a lot of times I tell folks, I mean, I learned this long years ago about raising your hands, lifting it up. I mean, sometimes you just got to break that mold. You got to break that feeling that everybody's watching you, looking over your shoulder, and everybody's like looking at the back of your head. Or they're wondering what, you know, or what are you wearing, or what do you got on your shoe? What kind of socks? What is all that that's going on? All that stuff, you just got to let it all go. <laughs> Brother Riley, what you did last week, what you did yesterday, what you did before you got to church, I mean, doing this right here, amen, that's letting us know, I mean, if you're on an island, amen, and you're on a deserted island, and you see a boat go by, and I guarantee you, you're not going to sit there. No, you're going to be, <laughs> save me, come on, save me, look over here, that's right, amen. <laughs> amen. So, Brother Kim, I want—I want to. I, I know God has our attention. And we have His attention. Amen. Yeah, amen. And I guarantee you, this morning, don't let anything go without being said or being done in, in the will of God towards yeah. you. Right? Yeah. Find His will. Find His perfect peace. Find that uh, that one spot where you have not received. And I tell you, I, if Lord allows us for the message to come out, I, it'd be great. If not, then. Lord's got something else to store. I'm all right with that. I just want the Holy Ghost to have his way. I want him to do what he needs to do because you need him more than I do. Come on. That's why, I, that's why we all should feel that everyone else needs it more than what we do. Amen. So that means that I've got to do with my part so that you can do your part. He's got to do his part so that she can do his. Everything's got to work out according to his will. All right? And I'm telling you things right now. Amen. The atmosphere is here. Amen. I've been praying and seeking God this week, and I know Brother Riley has. Yes. And I tell you, there's been some things going on last week, and the enemy tried to fight us. And I'm yeah. telling you, we couldn't get into church. We couldn't get up here. And, uh, you know, things were just going wrong. But Lord kept blessing me every time, turning around. Then I had folks that were really sick. Brother Kim was sick. So other, other folks were sick and had to go for And I was trying to pray for them. And Brother Riley called me, told me to pray for this one. And, I mean, we just had all kinds of stuff going on at the same time. And I think that devil was fighting every one of us. One way or another. And I'm not, I, I, that's only one proof that I've got to know that God must have something up his sleeve to get something going here in this church. There might be, there could be a miracle fixing to happen. There could be a healing fixing to happen. There could be a limb begin to grow. Come on, there could be an eye to come about. There could be a ear to be unstarved. There could be something that's never happened in the state of Arkansas, in Hoxie, Arkansas, right here in this little church, especially, yeah. amen. Yeah. Something might be brewing that's fixing to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. As long as we stay in that atmosphere, and I'm telling you, when that atmosphere gets there, I don't care what pain you got. Hello. I don't care what you feel in your heart. I don't care what you feel in your mind. Amen. I don't know if you feel like you're, you're, you're just depressed and horrible feeling that you're the worst, the least person in the in the calling of God. Amen. I don't care what you feel, what you think, what you know, what all that. If you get in that atmosphere, of God, just let it go. Amen. I don't care if you got to cry. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't care if you got to go over the corner and snort and smile. Amen. Just cry all that you can until, until finally you get through. 
Hey man, I don't care if you got to run around the building 1,700 times. I don't care if you got to just walk outside and shout hallelujah, come right back. I'm just trying to think of, think of all kinds of examples, but I'm telling you right now, if you got to get on your knees, get on your knees. When that atmosphere finally hits you, do something about it. And I'm going to tell you what one, one brother said, amen, and I, I like what he said. Brother England, amen, I don't know if y'all know him, but England, uh, Galen England, amen. He said this this one time. He said that uh, he was focusing on healing just as much as we've been uh, preaching and singing and testifying and, and studying about healing. And, but he said this this one time. I really liked it because I've been trying to do that. If you try it, it'll be amen. But he said that when that atmosphere is there, or when he say atmosphere, he said when you feel the spirit, okay, when you really feel the spirit on you, he said try to direct that spirit to that, to that, that need, to that back. You know, as soon as you're starting to feel, oh, God, thank you, Lord, for touching me. And right now, then all of a sudden, you just kind of just direct it right now. All right, Lord, I got some back pain. I want you to touch it right there. And you just start directing that spirit to it. Yeah. And I, I got to thinking about that. I said, Lord, maybe I have been missing it. Maybe I have been missing it so much that maybe I'm not paying for that. I'm praying for the root cause of it. I said, God, what's causing this leg pain? What's causing these headaches? And, yeah. and I said, God, go to that root cause. If it's my eyes, if there's something wrong there, or I'm eating something wrong, or something's going wrong in my mind, Lord, whatever it is that's causing these <laughs> migraines, God, you take it right now. So as soon as that spirit hits, boom, I'm right there. <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Amen. I always want y'all to get all that you can. And then, like the brother Brian, I'm always saying, get all that you can, but can not all you got. <laughs> Amen. All right, let's pray this morning. We got folks that are sick and afflicted. I know Dad's been going through a battle. I mean, he's, he's really been going through a battle with his knee and his weakness and stuff like that. And he's he, he talks really depressed on the phone. So I'm praying that that depression will leave him. I ain't heard Dad talk like this in years, you know, or I ain't really ever really talked talk like this. So he's just been really bad. So remember him this morning. Amen. Brother James and Sister Melinda, my sister, brother-in-law, like, like, like she talked to me yesterday, and you know, they, they just been having it rough every day. And James passing out. He has a cystic fibrosis of the lungs, and then there's some kind of other disease that, that causes him to pass out. I mean, he can be sitting up right now and then pass out. He can be laying in bed, and I mean, well, you need to pass out one like that, but you know, he'll be laying in bed, and then he passes out, and be just different things, reading something, watching TV, and he'll just pass out. And, and Melinda have to go over and just shake him. Are you all right? And he'll come too. And he, he doesn't know what it is. The doctors don't know why it's causing it. So I don't know what it is. So all I can say is, you know, I don't want him. I mean, I want him here. Don't get me wrong. Amen. But I, I hate for him to pass out and fall onto the floor sitting up here. But, you know, the Lord's here. The Lord can protect them. The Lord can hold them up. Amen. That's what we're praying. But he also can heal them from that. Amen. You know? So pray for him to get here. Amen. Yeah. Pray for Brother Tommy. He ain't here this morning. He talked about coming back this week. Amen. He was sick last week. Just and brother, we was praying for Brother Kim. We had to pray for him. He got real sick last week. So, um, amen. Sister Carol, keep remembering her. Sister Brenda's sick today, so she said to remember her. Amen. The sickness has been going around. I'm telling you, Saints, we got to fight this thing. Amen. Brother Ronnie. Brother Ronnie. Pray for Brother Ronnie. Amen. Sister Lisa. Remember Austin? He's uh, we're with Storm. Oh. So he's in New York. Remember him. Uh, sister. Don't forget Sister Betty's granddaughter. Yes. And stuff. And I have another uh, prayer request. My friend that I work with, uh, her name's Phyllis Thomas. Her husband, Pete, they're going Monday. He just had surgery. And they're thinking his cancer's back. So let's just pray that God will have his way in Pete's life, you know. He said he don't want to go through the chemotherapy. He said, I'm ready to meet God if he's ready. But I know, I mean, I know God's will be done for Pete, you know. Right. But God bless him. Amen. I've got a great niece that goes to court the 27th, facing a lot of time. Right. Really. But I, I know God can change that heart of yes. the judges and first two attorneys and give her another chance. Yes. She's plenty of them, but she's one more chance. Because he's got a boy. About two year old. He stand with my sister with his grandmother. His daughter on her, she's sixty seven year old, she's five. And she'll be there, I know. But I pray that that works out over there for the back. Amen. 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 There's a of course sister Betty she goes to the other church there in her her She's been having a lot of signature battles herself, but she also has grandchildren. 
family that's uh, that's going through heart problems and stuff like that. And they and they're in the they're in the hospital right now. Where'd y'all say they were? And the nurse Nora Lane's children's hospital. We've got a granddaughter there. I don't know where the twenty four year old. They were tending last night down in Louisiana and pray for Sister Betty because she fell and her yeah. side still hurts. Uh -huh. So and that's a long drive for her. Yes. Remember her also. She's, she's a good woman of God, so Amen. pray that she'll make it up this way too. So, yes. Amen. I was always talking a while ago about several of the folks that I'm, that I, we know there in Paragool, hoping that one day they'll get up here and come down this way, whichever way we are. You know, yes. <laughs> left, I think. Uh, pray that they'll come over our side and over here and be with us. We're praying for revival, are we not? Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. This should be one of the biggest things that we're praying Amen. for, simply because, well, Brother David, why are you going to pray for revival? Because it's what revives us. Amen. It changes us from what we are to who we could be and then, and then how we can be. So, amen. And I'm telling you right now, if, if, if the Lord allowed me to bring out this message, amen, you'll understand the feeling I feel right now because I feel like we're fixing to step into something. I just don't know how to uh, understand it. I mean, he said, you know, I hadn't seen or in her or in, in, or in the hearts of man what God has prepared for us in heaven. All right, so we know that there's that much waiting for us when we get into heaven, correct? But yet, there is a spiritual walk with God that you can walk into that's it's very heavenly. Hello? Amen. That is very, <laughs> very different than what we're doing right now. It's a point where, amen, that you have the connection with God that God and the Lord touched my son and all of a sudden he touches him. Oh, Lord, I don't know how to, to pay for my taxes. He goes there and he, you got money right there in your bill pole. The bank's got the money. The bills are already paid. I'm talking about a God of, of extraordinary things that can happen to us when we step into that realm. Amen. And it ain't the point that folks are going to hate us. Come on. Folks are going to be mad at us. Yeah. They're going to be jealous because we are that close. They're going to be they're going to be like saying we're the weirdos. We're the ones that's outcasts. My Lord, they're going to they're gonna come at us every way they can. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a beautiful thing for us Amen. when we enter into that part right there. <laughs> there is a rest that has yet to us to obtain, to us to go into, that we don't have to worry about, Brother Kim, everything else that's going on in the world. Let the government shut down. Hello. <laughs> let everyone take away from all the money that people get each month. Amen. Let, let, let the store stop having food. Hello. Come on. Let jobs start to cease and unemployment yeah. runs out of money they can't play they can't pay when it gets to that point that everything is going chaotic we're going to be the ones that's going to have the provision we're going to have things provided from us you hear me Woo. <laughs> hallelujah amen and in the days of egypt they have when the children of israel were there when the plagues were being about i'm not talking about the god that that allowed moses to speak things to happen these things would happen amen and when the water turned to blood, Brother Ryan, no one could drink water, children of Israel were drinking water. Hello? When the locusts and the frogs, when everything else was destroying the cattle and destroying the, the fields, Brother Ryan, our fields are going to stand tall. You hear me? When there is no food on everybody else's table, there will be food on ours. You hear? Oh, come on. I feel the Holy Ghost already. Amen. This is a good Sabbath. This is a good day. This is the day the Lord has made. He's more, we're going to rejoice in it. Am I right? Amen. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Amen. All right, all right. So if you can't stand, stand with me. We'll pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us here this morning. God, we ask the Lord to bless this service. God, bless us with an outpouring of our spirit. God, let a he oh, just let something take place, God, here that hasn't took place in a long time. God, we're praying for revival upon this house and upon this children. Right here, God, we're praying for this community. We're praying for all of them that can come here and be with us, Lord. We're praying for a revival, a, chain, a soul changing revival, God. God, a thought changing revival. God, a mind changing, everything changing, God, from the, from the that other corruption to the incorrupt. I want to be the your man. I want to be the one that you call, God. I want to be there, Lord. I want these people folks there to get into that same realm, God. So help us this morning. But God, every request, God, that was asked, Lord, the healing, God, healed their bodies, encouraged and encouraged their bodies, strengthen them, strengthen them, Lord. Everything from every request that was spoken and spoken that wasn't unspoken, God. I'm asking you, Lord, to touch each individual, God. Touch everything that was said this morning. God, all them that need to be here that ain't here, God, convict them, God. Bring them to their knees and get them into the house of God here to serve you be with us, Lord. So show them, Lord, what they must do. But God bless this church. Completely bless us this morning. Let us not leave this place without feeling that anointing spirit. Let us not leave this place without getting our prayers answered this morning. Help us, Lord, to achieve what we need to achieve and hear what we need to hear, see what we need to see. Get it into our hearts right now. Lord. This is your day, Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad. Thank you, God. Hallelujah.
marching going on here? Everybody feel like marching? Well, I don't know. preach your heart out, you know. I preach so hard so the Lord move on me so many times. And, I mean, I, I can have two shirts on, <laughs> sweat down the shirt and my house shirt, and, and both of them be soaked and drenched before the end of that service. I mean, sometimes in the middle of that service. 
And I mean, you know, a lot of folks are like, man, you just sweat a lot. And I was like, I do when I come to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't hardly sweat that much. Even when I work, I, I sweat a little bit, but I don't work though. I don't sweat that much as much as I do with the Lord. Amen. Amen. He's good to us, ain't that right? Amen. 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 Amen.